Aloha Kupuna! Thank you so much for joining us today on the Kupuna Network. Today I'm going to be showing you how to break down an ahi loin as well as make some sashimi out of it. So let's get started. I like to start with a fresh loin of ahi from your local supermarket. It doesn't have to be like this, it can just be a steak of ahi if that's what you'd prefer to do. Um, so here I'll go ahead and get started with my loin. I like to trim the chain which is the part with connective tissue in it. So if you look at the ahi here, you can see the center of the loin has not very much connective tissue. And then you kind of work your way down here towards um, this portion, which does have a lot of connective tissue, as you can see. So what we'll do is we'll start by trimming that off because that's not as delicious with your sashimi. Now, during these times, especially when you're working with raw fish, it is very important to wash your hands. So I did that previously to coming on camera for you guys. <clears throat> as well as knife safety. We love our fingers and we don't want them to be injured. So I like to take it from here and break it down in half into more manageable portions. Now, the way that they cut it in the supermarket is they'll come down here which you can easily cube your ahi with still. But I like to make nice thin portions like this that come down the length of the fish. And you end up with beautiful blocks. Gorgeous color there. So I'll go ahead and finish that up here. Again, being very, very careful with your knife. A good practice is to cut like this Tuck your fingers, wrap them in. Tuck your thumb behind that. And just kind of come in here. Allow your knuckle to rest on the blade. That way that there's no, there's no way that you're gonna cut your fingers there. All right, so we've got a few nice pieces here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this guy here. Now, when you're making a block for sashimi, I like to go right into the center, something with less connective tissue, and make your block a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna take this guy here for our sashimi block. I'll cut out a little bit of that extra connective tissue. And this, I like, to, um, I like to make, it's called the chain, and I like to make something called nakaochi out of that. If you watch in the, in the later episodes, you'll see how to make that as well. So from here, we've got our nice piece of ahi. I'm just gonna go ahead and square that out. And I like to come at an angle. So the fish is you know, here, and I'm gonna bring my knife across in this manner. And it allows us to get slightly larger pieces, um, more uniform throughout. So I'll cut that. I like to press my fingers up against the fish here. It allows, it, it won't move as much, you know? So you can get nice, thin slices. Again, very, very careful about your fingers. So I'll go ahead and just slice the rest of this up for you guys. And when you're using a knife, it's good to pull once. You start at the back of the blade here, and you pull. Always using as sharp of a knife as possible, or else you'll have a little bit of difficulty cutting this. And from here, I just like to slide my knife right underneath the fish. Get our plate here. And you can literally just put it down like that and flatten it out a little bit. We got some delicious sashimi there to eat. 
Thank you so much for joining us on this segment of how to break down an ahi loin, as well as make some sashimi. I really hope that you enjoy. Let's go ahead and try this. Delicious.